You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Peacock. I, I don't know, you hit something, it's stop frame or something. You gonna go faster or what? You're, you're lined up, so don't be afraid to go as fast as you want. You're good. Just come back a little further. I can kick the ramps to make them open. It has been an extremely long time since I've posted or done anything with this car. And uh, since James's white Miata is in, uh, able to make it to Gatlinburg, Tennessee this year or Sevierville uh, slammed enough, um, we decided to bring out the Lamborghini for you know the first time in probably seven years since it's really been on any sort of real drive. Um, since I moved to Illinois, I pretty much never really drove this thing um, besides maybe short, short stints here and there. Um, but you know, this week is basically kind of the place to be that's as close to Illinois as you know we can get. So we're gonna be driving the Lamborghini for you know about an entire week, you know, cruising the strip. We're gonna go to the show on um, this weekend, but uh, we're not gonna be in the show. Um, we're just gonna be pulling up to the parking lot and a lot of people kind of just, you know, bring their cars there. So that'll be all right. Um, this isn't much of a show car anyways, but uh, it'll be super fun to kind of do exactly what this car was built for, which is pretty much just drive around, cruise around, and uh, have a good time. Um, if you're not familiar with Gatlinburg, Tennessee, it's kind of a touristy town with a lot of water parks and weird stuff going on. Um, but they got a nice cool little strip and uh, pretty much we're just gonna be bringing the car around um, going and meeting up with people, talking to people. Um, there's going to be a lot of people that have been watching this thing or have watched it, you know, in the past decade or so and uh, have been waiting to see this thing since it hasn't really popped out. And um, it's going to be good to, to have these people finally see this thing in person, um, kind of on this side of the country because it really hasn't been out since uh, it's been in California. So I'm glad to, you know, kind of bring it out and have people, you know, take a look and and uh you know see it in person so we're gonna go ahead on our first drive um and we're going to just kind of cruise around i think we're gonna go to downtown gatlinburg and this whole video is pretty much just gonna be cruising around hopefully we can get someone to take some rollers on our uh film setup and uh pretty much that's gonna be it i don't really think i'm gonna film any of the show or anything it, there's plenty of people that do that better than me but uh pretty much this is just gonna be uh, a vlog kind of thing um of what we're doing throughout this week all right first thing that didn't make it was uh this little nut on the other side of here came off which i've had these things break so many times before uh we're basically just gonna glue it and hope that it stays because I don't really feel like going and trying to get a nut in a boat right now because these are so tight on there and everything and I gotta adjust it. Uh, we're just gonna glue it because who cares? And this problem with this stuff is it's so like liquidy, it doesn't really wanna stay on anything all too much. So it's gonna drip on my damn diffuser. How long it take a set? Five minutes. And then an hour to be completely dry, but... I would say five minutes. <clears throat> Wait for it to stop dripping. Tape that shit to the diffuser dryer. Oh my god, there you go. I'll leave it like that for a little bit.
Last year, we uh, were at a big cabin with a bunch of friends. Um, and due to last minute kind of scheduling and everything, um, as well as wanting to be closer to the uh, strip with a car like this uh, so we can preserve tire, um, we decided to get a hotel right on the strip. So we're pretty close to everything, but yeah, we're not on anything uh, fancy this time, but uh, maybe uh, next year, whenever we bring something different, we can go back to the cabins, but uh, yeah. We're not going to Lowe's. <laughs> Shit set up super quick. Zoom. <laughs> Wobbly.
nail the tire, so that's what we're gonna go fix right now, and then we'll come back. Oh, this shit's super dry.
That wraps up our Gatlinburg trip, or Sevierville, um, slammed enough. Um, we are back at uh, probably the third or fourth uh, shop slash warehouse garage that uh, has been on this channel. Clearly, some things have changed, uh, some things haven't. The Miata, you know, really hasn't had a whole lot done. You guys seen at the beginning of this video that there was a couple of things that I did. Um, I didn't film everything, but just kind of the main stuff. Um, just to kind of make it more convenient to have it down in Gatlinburg and make our lives um, easier if something were to happen. Um, you see that a couple of things did end up happening. Um, we had to flip the tires, which was for the first time ever. Luckily, we found a tire shop that was able to do it. Um, and then about 20, 30 minutes later, we found a nail in the tire. Luckily, we already had all the tools and the plug and everything to be able to take care of that in the lot. Um, and then shortly after that, the car started breaking up really bad. I really was pretty uh, certain that it was a fuel issue um, just because of kind of the things that have happened in the past and everything that I checked. I, it just really seemed like it was going to be a fuel filter issue. So you've seen that we jacked the car up. I changed out the fuel filter with what I could. Obviously, they didn't have me out of fuel filter in stock at any of the auto parts stores. So I just did like a uh, universal one. Nothing really changed. Uh, we were driving it and then the spark plug blew out of the head. I think the vibrations from the solid motor mounts are maybe just making the spark plugs back out because this has actually happened once before when I was filming with uh, cars on board like eight years ago. Obviously something we should have checked. Um, when we were down there, I didn't have every tool. I didn't bring a spark plug tool. I really didn't think that that was something that was needed. Um, so I'm not sure if you know, it was just backing out slowly over time and it was breaking up or what, and then it finally just blew. Um, but it ended up stripping the threads. So you've seen that we tried to use uh, this one tool that just, you know, basically drills into the head and cuts the new threads. That wasn't really working out. So I ended up being able to uh, just drill it out as carefully as I could. It really didn't work out too well, um, but I was able to drill the threads tap the threads, put in, it's not technically a helical, it's kind of just like a thread reducer thing. Um, it was realistically the best and only thing I could have done. Um, luckily I didn't throw in the towel, uh, you know, earlier on. I was finally able to uh, get it back up and running again. It never really started running like perfect, but it was pretty good. Um, the cars honestly never really ran perfect. It always kind of had a little bit of a stumble, but it sounds sick. It sounds like it has a cam, so I never cared. It always had a check engine light. Um, but again, it, it never really failed me at any point, um, but I've also never really driven it this long, this many days in a row ever. Um, but again, you know, luckily we were able to get it all put back together and, uh, 
you know, able to drive it to the rest of the weekend. Uh, we did miss the first day of the show, so I did miss, you know, a lot of the cars that were in the show the first day. Wasn't able to make it at all just because we were working for so long on the car, trying to figure out all these little things. I was pulling the fuel filter, pulling the uh, fuel pump, just seeing if there was, you know, sediment at the bottom that was just clogging it up or what, uh, just because the car sat for so long with, you know, old gas. But uh, yeah, super happy with how everything worked out. Uh, I was very happy to bring the car out for the first time in a long time. A lot of people, pretty much everyone was seeing it for the first time. It was very well received bringing the car out um, and you know honestly it kind of rekindled a little bit more of my passion for the hobby. Obviously I still have uh, cars that I'm working on. I have cars that I'm building. Um, I just don't necessarily film it as much. Um, a lot of stuff has been happening in the background, just not really stuff that I've been uh, caring to film and or post. Um, but depending on how this video does and uh, all that stuff, I will maybe think about uh, kind of coming back and, and filming more often. I know this has been a little bit long-winded. I appreciate you guys holding out through this. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos, please like and comment. Um, I will be reading everything. And obviously, um, you know, it means a lot for, you know, the people who have been sticking around through all these years of not posting and kind of being uh, MIA. But uh, anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. And peace out.